What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Bomb. Boom! What's up? Episode 440. Today, we're going to go on a different range of lower back extension. So, I picked this up off of Ben Patrick, and it's interesting. A lot of the lower back specific things I've done is a lot based on the top range or lockout or medium to top. I've never really trained the bottom range, so the bottom quarter. So a lot of uh, our guys are pretty tight down there, I think, from all the lunges, all the squats. So it's kind of interesting. For the last like four or five days, I've done about 100 reps a day, broken in 20s, 33, no weight, but just trained the lower range. So what's that look like? So my most... Here's the other way is I'm gonna train it in the most compromised position. So my weakest, most compromised position of my lower back would be conventional. And I usually pull with like a frog stance. So I'll set my feet the same exact way and all the way bent over, like round back, that would be my most compromised position. So the way I processed this was I'll set it up like this, like I said, heels together, frog stance, and then when I'm in this position, I'm tapping here and only going to there. So it's just like this. Now, everything glutes, hamstrings, nice and tight, just hitting this angle right here. Now this looks kind of strange because we're not going all the way up, but really, because this right here, this is where I feel the most tight and where I'd be probably the most risk of injury. So I've never really just trained this. But what's interesting is it's giving a different kind of pump and just focusing on a spot where I probably feel the weakest. So why not give it a try? You could use it as a warm up. You could use it as a cool down, kind of like I've been. I'm still messing with it, so I don't have like a programming all the way dialed in, dialed in for how it pertains to us. But some people might feel that way at the top end, so maybe it's just the top quarter. So start to really figure out like, where's my most vulnerable, weakest point? And after I'm done training, lunge and everything, maybe I'll touch that up a little bit and try to add some strength, mobility in that exact spot. So it's all about you know, attacking those weaknesses. And this is one of the weaknesses for mine. Once again, it'd be conventional, low spot, training that bottom quarter, extra 100 reps, never know. Thanks.